This world. Malaysia's overall household debt to gross domestic product improved to 89.6% at end June from 93.2% last year. According to first half 2021's Bank Negara Financial Stability Review, household debt growth was broadly sustained, expanding by 5.5% as more borrowers resumed payments on their loans after exiting from loan moratoria. Quarter-on-quarter -quarter trends, however, reveal that household debt growth moderated during this period as the strong response to various home ownership and car purchase incentives rolled out in the, uh, in the second half of 2020 tapered off. Personal financing and credit card loans also declined as movement restrictions weighed on consumer spending. Malaysian oil palm plantations are struggling to meet the 20 million tons of crude palm oil target for this year due to acute labour shortage. According to Malaysian Palm Oil Council, MPOC, the industry urgently needs some 75,000 foreign labour since the implementation of the movement control order in March last year. Whether they are harvested or not, new crops will come in and the crops will rot in the tree. And if you were not to harvest the crops, we are just losing money. So all the efforts to, you know, to come up with good, healthy crops, that you fertilize them, you take care of them. But if you don't harvest a crop, you're not going to get any products. He was speaking at the ESG and palm oil industry between myth and reality webinar organized by MIDF Research. The labor shortage situation is expected to cost the industry some 2 billion ringgit this year due to lower yields. Now, Syme Derby Property has set up a joint venture with Australian-based Logos Property to establish a fund management platform focusing on developing and investing in the industrial and logistics sector. The first seed fund of the JV targets 850 million ringgit in capital commitments from institutional investors. For Syme Derby Property, uh, the whole idea is to shift to have a more uh, um, uh, to increase its uh, its uh, recurring income. Right, so our target is to evolve this so that at the end of the day, we've got 30% uh, of our uh, our income comes from uh, recurring. Uh, as also as part of us transforming to become a, a, a moving from just a, a property developer to become a real estate uh, development company. For a start, Syme Derby Property has allocated a 71.6 hectare site within its Banda Bukit Raja Township in Klang. The fund's primary focus is to develop and invest in built to suit, to lease or sell assets, primarily for clients in the logistics sector. Resetting the economy, restoring the well being and the prosperity of the Rakyat. Ensuring that no one is left behind, enhancing the nation's competitiveness, the enablers and game changers to achieve a high-income nation goal. The start of a new phase in Malaysia's development journey. Minister in the Prime Minister's Department for Economy, Datuk Sri Mustafa Mohamad, speaks with Money Matters this Saturday at 5pm, only on TV Tiga. Die Cutting Solutions provider CEKD made its debut on the ACE market at 60 cent today, notching a premium of 12 cent from its initial public offering IPO price of 48 cent. At the opening bell, the counter saw 6.29 million shares changing hands. And looking forward, the group aims to raise 24.28 million ringgit through its IPO exercise. We are a leading provider of die cutting mall solutions in Malaysia, and we believe this IPO will give the group more visibility and provide the catalyst for the expansion of the business in the region. CEKD's post-listing plan is to expand their operations and manufacturing services in the existing markets, as well as solidify its position in Southeast Asia and the Middle East. This is due to the growth in the electrical and electronics, plastic and packaging, automotive, as well as textile and leather industries. Solutions for our customers according to the latest technology and trends. That's all for now. I'm Muhammad Ahmad Hamdan. Thank you for investing your time with us.